Hello out there again. Um, another movie of the week this week. This week on movie of the week. Um, this is actually, it's really early on in the year to say that this is my favorite movie of the year, but I have a hunch that this is probably going to be it. Um, this is place The Place Beyond the Pines um, with Ryan Gosling, Bradley Cooper, and Eva Mendes. It's an incredible movie. Um, yeah, I saw, I saw Ryan Gosling in The Notebook, and I thought, you know, this guy's pretty good, you know? He's pretty good as an actor, but I gained a whole new retrospect and, you know, kind of like humbleness towards his acting skill when I saw him in this movie. Um, it was incredible, really. Um, it's like a three-part story, which is what I really like, because it really kind of mimics um, my favorite book, East of Eden by John Steinbeck. Um, the first part is Ryan Gosling, um, Handsome Luke, and the something, I forgot. Um, motorcycle guy in a circus, he just travels around. And then out pops Eva Mendes, um, who has already had the, his son, but he doesn't know that yet because they just kind of met each other right there and then. Eventually he does find out that he has, he has a son with her. He gets he, he quits his job, you know, he starts robbing banks to make money for his kid. And uh, eventually one bank robbery goes wrong. And that's when Bradley Cooper comes out. And Bradley Cooper um, kills Ryan Gosling by shooting him off a two-story house. And then the second part of the story begins with Bradley Cooper inside the world of corruption and the Schenectady police with Ray Liotta, which is pretty cool. He's from Goodfellas. It's kind of like the only movie I know him from. Also, killing them softly. That was pretty cool. Um, the second, that's the second story. Bradley Cooper kind of just rats them out in, in a good way. Not like in a bad way in the mob. He rats them out and he, he gets recognized for it. But he's still kind of empty. He's broken on the inside for killing Ryan Gosling and leaving his son Jason, you know, just, you know, kind of alone, you know. And then the third part of the story happens 15 years later when uh, Ryan Gosling's son Jason and Bradley Cooper's son AJ both meet up in high school. And then, you know, they start doing drugs and drinking together. And then eventually Jason finds out what happens to his dad. And he finds out that the person who killed his dad is AJ's dad. When he goes over to a house party at AJ's, and then what Jason does is he gets a gun, he goes to AJ's house, finds Bradley Cooper, takes him out to a place beyond the pines, and then basically all the feelings are let out in that specific spot where Bradley Cooper just breaks down and apologizes for killing his, his dad, and Jason just kind of leaves with $500 in his pocket, I, or more, I, I don't know the exact amount. And then... um. Bradley Cooper just wins Attorney General. Jason goes mm -hmm. off into the distance and basically just uh, becomes a drifter like his father. You know, this is an excellent movie. I completely recommend it. Um, I really think this is going to be my favorite movie of the year. I always have a favorite movie of the year. Last year was The Master with Joaquin Phoenix, Philip Seymour Hoffman, and Amy Adams. That was an incredible movie. Um, but... Uh, you know, I think this one's going to be it. So I recommend you all watch it. So The Place Beyond the Pines, directed by Derek Chanfrance. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. It sounds French. Because I saw, I saw the movie Blue Valentine. It was a good movie. But I, rec I recommend you watch The Place Beyond the Pines. Go do it now. Please.